Today we're gonna to be talking about how to layer your outfits. With winter being just around the corner, these tips are gonna come in handy for keeping you warm and looking stylish at the same time. Rather than wearing just one big padded coat, why not get a bit creative and add some character to your fits by using items that you've already got to create layers with. I think a layered look looks amazing when done well and it can really make you stand out from the crowd for all the right reasons rather than the wrong. I'm gonna make things really, really simple by separating each item of clothing out into different groups so you can do this at home with your own wardrobe. This is just the way I like to do things and this is what works for me. Okay, so I've separated my wardrobe out into six layer groups. So in the first layer group, we've got our t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, turtlenecks and vests. In the second layer group, we've got our shirts. In the third layer group, we've got cardigans, sweatshirts, hoodies and overshirts. In layer group four, we've just got jackets. In the fifth layer group, we've got overcoats. And the icing on the top of the cake, the cherry on the top, we've got our accessories, scarves and hats, which are just accessories. So just accessories. By choosing a maximum of one item from each group and also following the rest of the advice in this video, you'll easily be able to layer up your outfits in no time. So basically you start with your thinnest item first, so a t-shirt, a vest, or a thin turtleneck, and then you work outwards and your items get thicker as you work outwards. If you try and layer slimmer items or smaller items over the top of your other layers, then you're probably not gonna be able to move. I've only gone and put the slimmer layers over the top of the thicker layers, now I can't move. So make sure your items get more roomy as the outfit goes outwards. You can pick one item from each group or just one item from a couple of the groups, depending on the look you're going for or how cold it is. Another thing to keep in mind is by using basic items, you don't have to worry about your items clashing together. Because you've got quite a lot going on in your outfit already, if you've got a lot of colour and patterns going on, they're more likely to clash, giving you a bit of a mismatched look. Anyway, let's start building some outfits to show you exactly what I mean. Just to let you know, I have a 30 inch waist and I'm about six foot just for reference. So for the first look, we're using a white t-shirt from group one and this is gonna act as our base layer to the outfit. Next up, I've gone for a black overshirt. This is a herringbone black overshirt from A Day's March. It's really nice quality. And the great thing about overshirts is they're not too thick. So they're a really good piece to layer with. Next up, we've got another one of my favorite layering items and I've been wearing this a lot recently. It's the down jacket vest from Uniqlo. This is a really lightweight jacket and even though it's only a small piece, it adds a lot of warmth to your fit and it works so well over the top of the overshirt. You could leave the look here. I really like the way it looks as it is, but I'm gonna put an overcoat over the top of this for an extra layer. So the overcoat is an item from group five and I've got this one from Weekday. It's just a plain black overcoat that really smartens up the look. It just adds an extra layer to the fit and it's gonna keep you warmer on those colder winter days. The down jacket vest does provide you some protection on your neck with the collar that it's got, but for some extra protection from the cold, I've just added a scarf over the top to finish off the look. I've gone for a scarf from Arsket. It's really warm and it's really cozy and it's just gonna keep your neck that bit warmer on those colder days. So that's look one, a clean and simple black and white look, and I think it looks really smart. So for this next look, I'm using a plain gray t-shirt from group one, and this is gonna act as our base layer. Over the top of that, from group three, we're going for a cardigan from Uniqlo. I love the color of this cardigan, and I don't often wear cardigans on their own. I normally use them as a layering piece again, like the overshirt. And I think the color of this makes this an absolutely amazing piece to layer with. It's lamb's wool, so it's gonna keep you warm, but it's not too thick, so you can easily throw something else over the top of it. And just to smarten the look up as well, I've just tucked in the gray t-shirt underneath. This is mainly for the next layer that goes over the top. I like the way it looks with the tucked in t-shirt. So the next item we're going for over the top of the cardigan is the Uniqlo double-faced overcoat. I absolutely love this coat. I love all overcoats really, but I absolutely love this coat. It's got a really roomy fit to it, so it's perfect for layering over the top of your other items. I think the color of the overcoat works so well with the gray t-shirt and the color of the cardigan. And you don't really need to do anything else here with this look. It looks great as it is, but I'm just gonna add some small details over the top. I really like the way the green hat works with the brown cardigan. It screams autumn to me, but you could wear it for winter as well. And just to finish off the look, I've got another scarf from Arsket, another cashmere and wool blend scarf. 
This one's in a beige colorway and it works really nicely with the other colors going through the fit. So that's look number two. It's got a bit of an 80s Dexas Midnight Runner feel to it. I'm not a fan of theirs, but uh, I don't mind them. But yeah, it just, it just reminds me of them. For look number three, we're starting with a turtleneck from Group One. Turtlenecks are one of the best items to layer with, in my opinion. They're going to keep you warm, and because of that neck, it's going to stick out the top of the other items that you layer over the top, so you're always going to see it. Again, I haven't chosen to go for anything from Group 2. I've just jumped straight to Group 3, and I've chosen this grey hoodie from Fruit of the Loom. It's not a very thick hoodie, which makes it absolutely perfect for layering with. So here you can see the turtleneck just poking out the top of the hoodie. It's really subtle, but I think it gives you an amazing look, and I think it's a bit different. Over the top of this, I'm reaching for my trusty down jacket from Unico. This is just one of those items that I just throw over so many of my outfits, and it just gives you a nice extra bit of detail. Now, I really like this look as it is, but just to show you that you can add another layer, I'm going to throw an overcoat over the top of this look as well. The down jacket, you don't have to use it. You could just throw an overcoat straight over the top of the hoodie, but I just like that extra bit of detail. I've gone for the black overcoat again from Weekday. The overcoat finishes off the look nicely and really smartens it up, and I think it works so well. The down jacket is just poking out, but I really like those small touches, those small bits of detail that really make a difference to your look. And for the last look, we're starting with a long sleeve t-shirt from Uniqlo. This is from Group 1, and it acts as our base layer to this next look. These long sleeve tees are so versatile, and I wear them a lot of the time. Over the top of the white long sleeve, I'm adding a shirt from Group 2, so this is just to show you how you can add a shirt over the top of your outfits and also use them to layer with. I often wear my long sleeve t-shirt so they poke out the sleeves of the layering piece over the top. Even though you probably won't be able to see it in a second when I put the next layer on, if you do decide to take a layer off, you'll see it then. Over the top of the shirt, I've gone for the double-faced overcoat from Uniqlo. Blue and grey work so, so well together, and that's why I've chosen to go for this grey overcoat. You won't be able to see the shirt a lot unless you do it up, but I prefer to keep it open. I just like having a glimpse of it from time to time. It's the subtle touches when it comes to layering that I love. And then on the top, I've gone for the green hat again from Aimee Leon Dor. I like the way the green and the blue work together in this outfit. And finally, if you did want to throw on a scarf, then you can. I don't think it needs it, but you can add it if you want. These are just some outfits that I've put together by choosing some items from each group. Some of them feature more items from each group, some of them less. After a while, you'll get the hang of things and you'll no longer need to think of things in terms of groups. You'll just do it naturally. If you live in a country where it's absolutely freezing, then I'd advise that you start layering using thermals. On the flip side, those of you in hotter countries, just use lighter layers or less layers. But just use your common sense at the end of the day. If you're too cold, add more layers or wear thicker clothing. If you're too hot, wear less clothing or lighter clothing. Very simple, really. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, then I release fashion videos every week on the channel. So do hit subscribe if that sounds good to you. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you next week. See ya.